I wanted to do a little test on recharging the Jackery with the 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panel. I just wanted to see uh, how quick it would recharge from nothing. So right now it's totally depleted because I ran another test on it, uh, running the battery all the way down. And I want to see how fast it could recharge on an uh, average cloudy day. So we have partial clouds. For now, let's look at this Jackery. There you go, 0%. The Jackery is limited to a 60 watt solar. So we'll see how long this takes. So you know, temperature is in the 80s. It's pretty humid. It's already pulling 31 watts, which isn't surprising with the clouds. It's obviously not a ton, but uh, that's our start. I'm starting this video at 11.50 a.m. local time. All right, so it's been just over three hours. It's three, three o'clock, so three hours and 10 minutes. We have a big fat thundercloud overhead, so I might have to pull this guy in. But uh, I'm only getting eight watts anyway. So three hours up to 35%. You can do the math. Now that, of course, like I said, it's a cloudy day. The sun is just behind a massive thundercloud. You can keep hearing the thunder. I haven't seen any rain yet, but it's definitely not ideal. All right, so it's basically been three and a half hours. And unfortunately, the cloud cover is just really limiting the input on this uh, jackery from the solar panel, so. All that to say, it's been three and a half hours. We've gotten just over a third battery back in and it's a struggle in the clouds, so. All right, so five hours and we got up to 41%. You're pulling zero watts. So at 5 p.m., probably some of the latest uh, usable sunlight most people are gonna have in a given day. So you see, 41% from zero starting at 11.50, obviously I started a little earlier, could have got a little more in, but this is what a cloudy day might look like trying to recharge a Jackery on. The 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panel. If you're somewhere where, where weather could interrupt your sunshine, uh, make sure you have another way to charge this from the 12 volt, like in your vehicle, or just make sure you get a power station with enough battery capacity that it's more than you need per day. That way you're not risking not being able to recharge it within the day.